one was a four by two hundred freestyle relay, and you won a bronze for a two hundred uh, meter backstroke. Which which is your strong uh, stroke? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> is there someone we could call? We might have to call my mom. <laughs> I mean, when, when you really want to power the other guys, when you just want to submerge them, what do you go to? I don't have one. Um, I'm one of those swimmers that likes training for everything. I like a challenge. Mm -hmm. And um, right now, like, swimmers are afraid to do more than, like, one or two events. So I just train for everything. You train for everything. So if you and Michael Phelps go head-to-head, -head, and that won't happen because he's retiring, is it? Well, why did he retire? I don't know. Uh, I think he's been in the game for a long time, and I think he just got tired of it. Tired? Too, too, uh, too much swimmer's ear. Yeah. Too much swimmer's ear. <laughs> That's what it is. Meyer second, Russo third at the 100. 55-33, lofty split. 29-8 right there on his back. Looking very good. You know, and here's a case where Connor Dwyer could have a chance to medal this summer in London if he had made the team. The problem is he's, he's most likely going to be third. Eric Chanteau is another one that's going to be very good. But Connor Dwyer is one of the best 200 IMers in the world. He was ninth in the world last year. And he might be shut out because of Phelps and Lofty. Lofty at 28.93, 33.6 there. He's well on his way to breaking two minutes. 158.9 would put him in the top ten for this year. Well, here in Charlotte, the last couple of years, they haven't seen much of the real Lofty because of his training rights. But this crowd, looks to be more I like I haven't it. seen much of Ryan Lofty. <laughs> This looks to be more like it. It comes in at 57.63, which is the third fastest time in the world this year. Phelps has the fastest. Anto takes third. Brian Lochte, <laughs> you put the suit on. What were you telling us all? Um, I mean, this me, uh, it was a little rough, uh, but I mean, I'm not the one to say like the suit uh, makes the swimmer. The swimmer makes the suit, but. In this case, uh, the suit definitely helps. What does it mean to you, Ryan, to, to kind of get up on the blocks and, and, and have a pretty good swim, though, at the end of the meet? Is it, does it make you feel better, or does it really doesn't matter at this point? Um, you know, uh, I'm talking mentally more than anything, to get up and hey, put a pretty good time up there. Yeah, I mean, uh, my swims this meet weren't that great, but um, to put a good one in the bank uh, for coming up into the trial, so, you know, um, I feel really good where I'm at, and you know what, I got six weeks to get ready, so we'll see what happens. I would imagine your mom's happy with this. It's Mother's Day, and you know how yeah. much your mom, we all know how much your mom has played a role in your swimming life. I mean, I wish... Congratulations. Nice Thank way you. to end in Charlotte. Thank you.